O Primo Basilio, by Quiros is a captivating novel that delves into the complexities of human relationships, morality, and societal expectations. Set against the backdrop of 19th century Lisbon, the narrative skillfully weaves a tale of passion, betrayal, and the consequences of succumbing to one's desires. The novel follows the lives of its central characters, Luisa and Jorge, whose marriage is initially painted as an idyllic union. However, as the plot unfolds, the facade of marital bliss is shattered, exposing the underlying tensions and frailties within their relationship. Quiros employs a masterful use of irony and satire to critique the moral hypocrisy prevalent in society, particularly within the upper echelons. Luisa, the protagonist, is portrayed as a symbol of innocence and virtue at the beginning of the novel. Her character undergoes a transformation as she becomes entangled in a passionate affair with her cousin Basilio. This descent into infidelity serves as a commentary on the restrictive nature of societal norms and the stifling expectations placed upon women during that era. Quiros crafts a poignant portrayal of the internal conflict Luisa experiences, torn between societal expectations and her own desires. Jorge, Luisa's husband, represents the archetypal bourgeois male of the time. Initially portrayed as a devoted husband, Jorge's character evolves into a more complex figure as the narrative progresses. His reaction upon discovering his wife's infidelity is a potent commentary on the fragility of masculine pride and the societal pressure to uphold appearances. Quiros deftly explores the consequences of Jorge's choices, demonstrating how societal expectations can trap individuals in a cycle of deceit and despair. The secondary characters in O Primo Basilio play pivotal roles in unraveling the intricacies of the human psyche. Juliana, the cunning and opportunistic servant, acts as a catalyst for the unfolding drama. Her Machiavellian machinations expose the moral decay that lurks beneath the veneer of respectability in society. The contrast between Juliana's manipulative nature and Luisa's supposed purity highlights the novel's exploration of hypocrisy and the double standards imposed on men and women. Quiros employs vivid and evocative language to paint a vivid portrait of Lisbon society during the 19th century. The city becomes a microcosm of the broader societal issues explored in the novel, such as the stark class divisions and the moral decay within the upper classes. The author's keen observations and satirical wit bring to life a world where appearances are deceptive, and moral values are often sacrificed in the pursuit of social standing. One of the notable aspects of Quiroz's narrative technique is his use of naturalism. The author presents a deterministic view of human behavior, suggesting that individuals are products of their environment and circumstances. This deterministic approach is evident in the character's actions and the inexorable chain of events that lead to the tragic climax. Through naturalistic storytelling, Quiros underscores the inevitability of the characters' fates, emphasizing the influence of societal norms on their choices. In conclusion, O Primo Basilio stands as a timeless exploration of human nature, morality, and societal expectations. Quiros's keen insight into the human psyche, coupled with his biting satire, creates a compelling narrative that transcends its 19th-century setting. Through the lens of infidelity and societal hypocrisy, the novel remains a thought-provoking commentary on the enduring complexities of human relationships and the consequences of succumbing to societal expectations.